Hello gamers, it is the Game Fairy and I'm back with another episode of Delta Rune. On the last episode, we had a friendship fight with Susie, the big old bully, and Lancer, the trickster and treatster himself. And we were able to turn it around and now they're our friends again. So let's take off from there. Continue on. Okay, and we are at the forest thrashing room, which does not sound good. But we will make sure to approach this passively. You already know. So we see Lancer posing near this open door. You can follow behind us, you know. Ralsei says. Oh, okay, says Lancer, and Lancer does not follow. But I am going to walk into this empty door. Oh, it's a lone door frame, but for some reason you can't see through it. So I almost wonder if that will activate soon and we'll be able to go back to the past areas like from before. But for now, it is just an empty door frame. Okay, so let's continue to the right. That's the only area we can go. Oh, and we see Lancer again, but we cannot speak to him. He's just standing back towards the forest. Oh, and as we move through, we do see Lancer sliding sideways, but still at a distance. Wow, this is cool, he says. I've never been on such a big team before. Don't you have a legion of various guys? Ralsei asks. Yeah, but my dad forced them to listen to me. Hmm. So they don't actually like me very much. And Lancer looks deflated. Oh, poor Lancer. <laughs> well, you don't need those clowns anymore, Susie says. Just chill with us. Aye, aye. <laughs> and Lancer sticks out his tongue. And we keep moving sideways. We're walking past some trees of those bricky, blocky leaves. And we still see Lancer slide into the right with us doing the cha-cha slide. Man, I'm still hungry, Susie says. It's like nothing I eat here matters. Should have stolen more money for the bake sale, I guess. Yikes, Susie. I was thinking of baking a cake later, Ralsei says. Mmm, what's the catch? Susie asks. You have to stop making fun of me for one. Pass, Susie says. Oh, and Susie and Lancer are laughing away. Not nice, Susie. So we continue to the right. Oh, and we, oh, and Lancer stops us. We do see a tree in view with a star on the tippy tippy top of it. And Lancer says, look, Susie, a candy tree. Hell yeah, Susie responds. Lancer runs over to the tree and Susie walks over as well. Susie takes a little jump and says, Damn, the last piece is too high to reach. Worry not, Susie. I have a special transformation for times like this, Lancer responds. And I wonder what he's going to do. R really? Susie says, curious. Watch and learn, team. And Lancer is glowing and hunches over. Look, stool form. All you did was put your hands on the ground, Rossi says. Hey, don't act so jealous. Susie responds, and she hops up on Lancer's back and jumps up and grabs the star candy from the tree. <laughs> Got it. 
Ooh, tell me what it tastes like. Huh? You haven't had it before? Oh, I mean, I've always wondered what it's like. But I'm not allowed to pick it for myself. Lancer says, deflated. Ooh, this feels like such a hard conversation for Lancer. And Susie's silent. She walks over to Lancer and says, Well, you tell me what it tastes like. You're giving it to me? Lancer says. I thought you were hungry. Oh, wow, this friendship. Oh. Susie's silent and walks away. I, uh, changed my mind. Ho, ho, Candy joins the team. <laughs> Candy, all right, already. <laughs> Lancer was going to start a little jingle, and Susie yells, interrupting him. <laughs> Lancer blocks himself behind the tree. Oh! And he is sliding along with us again. All right, team, let's go. I do know we have enough dark candy in our inventory that everyone could probably have a piece. But, oh well. So, what's it taste like? Susie asked Lancer. Yum, yum, yum. It tastes like friendship. <laughs> what's that taste like? <laughs> like my teeth are disintegrating, Lancer says with a crooked smile, giving us a raspberry. <laughs> and Lancer and Susie cackle. Haha, <laughs> that's, that's actually bad. Haha, <laughs> yeah, but thank you for sharing. You're a good friend. Lancer says, well, uh, you too, I guess. Oh, it's the growth for me. This is very sweet. And we slide along with Lancer. Just walking along with you guys feels nice. Like I'm doing something important. That's because you're a long-sized you're alongside the Lightner's Lancer, Rousey says, smiling. Our purpose, Darkner's purpose, is to assist them. It's the only way we can truly feel fulfilled. Really? But my dad hates Lightner's. He wants to. Lancer starts deflated again. Oh, poor Lancer. Does your dad seem happy? Ralsei asked. I'm not sure. And Lancer is still deflated, sunken in. And we continue on. Lancer is still off the path, <laughs> sliding along with us next to the forest. Hey, uh, let's ditch the weird purpose talk. You're probably just glad you ate a weird berry. Yeah, I'm still boost from the juice, Lancer says. I mean, look, I'm not from here. And hanging out like this, I also feel kind of, uh, you know, happy, Ralsei asks Susie. Psh, nah. Okay, and we continue on. These two are having such breakthroughs. Oh, and we stop again. Maybe, Susie says. And we continue on. Not me feeling touched. And we're walking on. We have three, four, five, six, seven of the blocky foliage from the trees and we do see a castle in the distance it has a purple energy bursting from the top two pointy rooftops a 
giant spade in the front, in the middle of it. And then there's also four cards, each with one of the card symbols on them. And Ralsei interrupts us from walking and says, Look, everyone, we can see the castle. Yes, that's where I live, Lancer says. Me and, uh, my, my dad. What's the black thing emerging from the top? Susie asks. That's the fountain, Susie. If we can get there, you and Chris will finally be able to go home. Oh, wow. And Rossi is cheerful. Jeez, took long enough. Listen, Susie, you definitely ran off. We probably could have been here already. <laughs> Chris, Lancer, Let's go. And Lancer is silent. And he slides along with us. Let's try to get to this castle. We're just continuing. Oh! And Lancer stops us again. Are you sure there isn't another way home? The fountain is being guarded right now. If you try to go there, um, he, you might get hurt. And Lancer once again deflated. What? Come on, Lancer. No one's going to beat a team like us, Susie says. If anyone gets in our way, all we got to do is crush them. And Susie says with that teeth bearing smile. Oh! And Lancer's face is shocked. He walks ahead and says, But wh what if you had to fight? Everybody bleeds, right? Don't worry about it, she says. Whoever it is, They'll be cold on the ground before you can blink. Whoo, Susie, she says all that with a bloodthirsty smile. Susie, please stop. But, but Susie, Lancer starts. What? Oh, and Lancer is frowning. The little tip of his head is slouched over. And he takes another step. I think. I think I need to go. Huh? When are you going to be back? Susie asks. <gasps> and Lancer's frowning again. Never, he says. And he runs off. Whoa! H hey, wait a second! Lancer! Susie is alarmed. Why are you acting so weird? And I can tell Susie's stressed out and she marches forward. S Susie, wait! Rousey calls and Rousey runs forward. So now it's just Chris alone. And Chris is going to walk forward. Oh, and we see our friend's Run off. The lightners are approaching the castle. Get them. <gasps> oh, that was a call for an army of Rudens. They're throwing diamonds. We have to dodge them all. So far, so good. Chris is weaving and waving in and out of this path. There's so many Rudens. We took a hit. 10 damage. We have 80 out of 90 left. We're still weaving and waving through this long line of Rudens very angry at us. And once more, we have to dodge. Now they're sending diamonds in rows of six. Let's try this. Three, two, one. We're running. Oh my gosh, we got hit. And as the lines ride up, the Rudens are coming out. 
We're just going back and forth to the left, to the right, taking so much damage. Chris, are you okay? We're at 40 out of 90. We just see the Rudens long. The Rudens lined up on the sides. This is not good. But we did catch up to our friends. Susie calls. Lancer! Lancer is backing up into the castle. Four thick bars slam down, separating him from his friends. Hey, what are you doing? Susie asks. <gasps> In a line of Rudens surround us. We've cornered them, they call. So many diamonds orbit around the three heroes. W wait, Rousey calls out. <gasps> and the diamonds go down. He 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 he, you poor lightners. A Rudin stands outside of a locked door. We were told to keep you imprisoned for eternity. Too bad. Would have loved to see you guys punished. <laughs> and the Rudin walks away. It is Chris and Rousey sitting in a dungeon. There is on the wall a broken metal cuff and a big crack in the stone. Uh, ow, Rousey says. Well, this is a fine how do you do, isn't it, Chris? Imprisoned for eternity? That sounds like it might take a while. So I guess Rousey might not be too worried here. He's silent. <gasps> and Susie, where's Susie? We have to find her, Chris, before she gets hurt. Or, um, hurts someone else. Maybe there's something we can escape with in here, he says. Okay, and now we are able to walk around as Chris. Let's talk to Rousey real quick. Chris, this might seem like a bad situation, but I know you can figure something out. And I know Rousey's trying to cheer us up, but he's not even cracking a smile. He seems worried. Chris, why don't you look around some more? Okay, so I see this big crack in the wall. There's a crack in the wall. What could be inside? It's more wall. Oh, bummer. So let's go to this metal chain with the broken cuff. These shackles seem oddly fashionable. Take them? Let's take them, sure. Iron shackle was put in your armors. Awesome. So I went to the... <laughs> piece of the wall where the metal remains from the removed shackles and it says ain't nothing to hold you down <laughs> alrighty so let's try there's a grass patch in the corner of our cell and it says life cannot exist without consuming even the moss drinks water perpetuate the cycle of existence so we can either perpetuate it or do not. Let's perpetuate it. <gasps> you ate the moss. Taste mossy. Your HP was mossed out. Okay. So we have the shackle with us. Let's talk to Rousey now. So, Chris, what did you find? What's all that green stuff around your mouth? Two minutes in jail, and you've already resorted to eating moss. Um, you're a real go-getter, Chris, Rousey says, looking concerned. So, you couldn't find anything? Well, Chris, let's not give up hope just yet. But, um, if we don't make it for some reason, then I just wanted to say... Um, I'm, I'm glad 
I was able to beat. Hey, idiots, can you shut up? We hear a call from Susie. I'm trying to concentrate. S- Susie, where are you? I don't know. Prison? Seriously, though, I'm out of my cell. I sweet talk the warden into giving me the keys. Susie, really? How? Ralsei asks. And we pan over and see a rodent in the trash can. Their diamond cutter on the floor. Oh, goodness, Susie. I, uh, invited him to visit the trash can. Anyway, now there's a puzzle in the way. Okay, solve it, Susie. Susie's looking at the puzzle. And now looks back at the wall. I, um, don't do puzzles, Susie says. Hey, how about we just sit tight and wait for Lancer, Susie says. He lives in the castle. He's bound to come save us. Why don't Chris and I just help you solve the puzzle, Rousey suggests. Look, I don't need your help. Susie's silent. But, uh, if you said what to do out loud, and we do see on the wall there is a puzzle. So there's three empty spots for entries. And on the top we see a clover, a red heart, and a black spade. And that clover was black. You know, I wouldn't stop you. Chris, tell Susie what to do. Ralsei says to Chris. And we have to now advise Susie on how to solve this puzzle. So we have three options. Add a spade, swap, or add a diamond. So I told Susie to add a spade. I told her to swap it. And now that made a black clover, I told Susie to add a diamond. And then I'm going to tell Susie to swap it. Oh, no, I'm messing up here. We have a black spade, a red heart, and now add another spade on there. (laughs) Oh, no. Swap it, Susie. Let's start over here. Looks like it reset. So let's big brain this. We're going to add a spade, add a diamond, swap them. So now we have a black clover, a red heart, and now we need to add another spade. Perfect. Clover, heart, and spade. Yes, we did it. Susie yells. Great. Now come and free us, Ralsei says. All right. All right. And Susie stomps on over. Thanks for helping her, Chris. She appreciates it. Aw, Ralsei. And Ralsei looks down. Chris, are you worried about Susie? So we have two options. Yes, or she'll be fine. I'm worried about Susie. I'm sure Chris is too. I selected yes, and Ralsei says, Well, regardless of how you feel... I don't think it could hurt to take a moment. Close your eyes and think about what she's doing now. And the screen goes dark. We see Susie walk down and she says, All right, out of the cell. Where to next? So we can either go left or go right. If we go left, I see there it looks like an eye peeking out of a cell. And then if we go right, it looks like the start of a puzzle. Let's go left and explore. Huh? Chris? Did you say something back there? I can't hear them anymore. And Susie turns around to face the path that she just came from. I'll just go this way. And Susie does walk left, and we see two eyes peeking out of a cell. Well, that's a dead end. And Susie is alarmed. 
that that's Lancer's voice. And she speeds to the path on the right. Damn, not another one of these. Maybe I should go back and ask Chris, Susie says. And there is the puzzle. It has a black spade, a red diamond, and a black spade on there. And make sure they... Lancer. I will just do it myself, Susie decides. So she's punching in the answers. Oh, and she got it. Black spade, red diamond, black spade. And we do see Lancer talking to a guard, Rudin. And these Rudins that we've been encountering are different. They still have their diamond cutter, but they are red. And it looks like they might have mask on their face. They're looking a little bit more regal. Understand? They have to stay in their cells. <laughs> I went a little high there. But Lancer is talking to this regal Rudin. The lightners can't be allowed to escape. And Susie is listening in on this, not too far from them. Especially the purple one, he says. Lancer, Susie calls out. <gasps> and Lancer turns around, his mouth wide. S Susie? And the Rudin runs off. What? What are you doing here? Oh, Susie takes a step towards Lancer. Lancer, Chris and Ralsei are still locked up. I, I know. And Lancer isn't standing confidently like his usual self. He looks quite slumped. I, and Lancer turns around. I was the one who told my troops to put you down here. Two. And Lancer's hat curls over once more. To keep you down here. Forever. <gasps> Susie takes a step towards Lancer. L Lancer, you, you, she stutters. You wanted to get rid of us? And she's sweating. I thought we were a team. And Susie's shaggy hair rests a little bit lower on her eyes. She looks deflated. I, I can explain, Susie. And Susie turns around, her back facing Lancer. Nah. It's fine. It's fine, actually. You don't have to say anything. I get it. I get it, you know? She takes a couple steps and stops again. <gasps> Why would anyone really want to be my friend anyway? She says. Lancer is alarmed. Susie, that's not... Shut up. But... Shut up. Susie walks towards Lancer slowly. Get out of my way, she says. Lancer is silent. Did you hear me? Get out of my way, she snarls. N no, Lancer responds. Susie cackles. Did you not hear me? Man, I tried to warn you. Susie takes a couple steps back. So don't expect me to feel guilty and swings down her axe when they have to clean you off the floor. Hey, want to see what happens to traitors? And we are in a battle 
that looks one-sided. Susie has 110 out of 110 HP and slams her axe down on Lancer, taking over 200 damage. Lancer then throws spades at us and we were able to dodge. They get crushed, Susie says, and takes another swing at Lancer, another over 200 hit. And we do have to dodge some more spades that Lancer is throwing at us. But Lancer doesn't stand tall. He stares at us with a whole different demeanor. This isn't the Lancer we know. If you don't get out of the way, I'll you, Susie says. Another slam, over 200 damage. And we are now dodging more spades. They just keep coming like rainfall. Get it? I'll you. And Susie swings down her axe again. More spades coming down. When will the storm end? Ha! You missed, idiot. Susie taunts and swings down her hammer, this time taking over 300 damage. And as we stand still, it almost looked like the spades were intentionally dodging us. Wait, why aren't you fighting back? Susie questions and swings down her axe once more. We don't even have to dodge these spades. It's like there's a barrier around us. <laughs> you think I care? If you just want to lie down and you're just making it easier for me. And Susie slams down her axe once more. <gasps> Lancer is starting to tremble and doesn't say a word. All right, that's enough, Susie decides. If you want to so much, then Oh my goodness. The screen went dark. One more swing and it was a miss. S Susie? Lancer asks. You, you missed me. And Susie is down on one knee, her axe still in hand. I, I don't want to kill you, man. Just move, please. But, but Susie, if I let you guys go, then, then you and my dad will fight and, and you'll kill each other, Lancer says. Susie stands up and puts her axe away. At least if you stay here. Neither of you will get hurt. Susie takes a step away. Then I, I, I won't kill him. Promise. Me and him, we'll just, um, talk it out. Peaceful style, you know? And Susie has an unfamiliar smile on her face. I think she might mean it. I, I don't think my dad would like that. And Lancer hangs his head. <gasps> Susie runs up. Hey, Lancer, come on. We're a team, right? Nothing can stop us, fighting or not, all right? And Lancer is silent. But the confidence returns and he poses. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We might as well try. I can help too. And that crooked smile has returned to his face. I'll go talk to my dad, ripen him up. Hey, now we're getting somewhere, Susie says, still smiling. I'll head over right now. And Lancer takes a step and stops. S Susie? 
yeah. And he turns around. Are, are we still friends? Huh? Huh? Uh, of course. I mean, if you want to be. See you. <laughs> See you. And Lancer runs off. How am I going to get past his dad like that? Susie wonders. C come on, I'll figure something out. And she smiles and walks off. We now are back to Chris and Ralsei. So that's why, okay, Chris? Oh, and the door to the cell has opened. We see Susie walk on in. Hey. Susie, you came to save us. I knew you had uh, the heart of a hero, Susie. Yeah, yeah, don't push your luck. And she turns around. Chris and Ralsei joined the party. And the three heroes walk on out. And now we are going to actually go to the left. I remember those pair of eyes there. And I kind of want to inspect. Yeah, even I got arrested, they say. And I'm just a pair of eyes. What's the world coming to? Okay, so there was no body behind these eyes. Ooh, how creepy. I don't know. The eyes are kind of cute. They're adorable. So now let's run back over. We're going to go to the right. And we see a spark. We are now in Card Castle Prison. Gamers, this might have been my favorite part of the game so far that dialogue actually got pretty deep i felt a little touch this is so well done and i'm super excited to see where this game goes next hopefully we're able to beat lancer's dad being pacifist but only time will tell i'm sure we'll be hitting that soon so like this video if you liked it and subscribe to stay in touch and find the next episode of Deltarune. Otherwise, I hope you're having a good day, a good night, a good time, and I will be talking to y'all real soon with some more content. See you gamers. Have a good night.